guys. Ellie B again. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, I'm not uh, produced by anybody because I'm going to use a lot of names. I am in my most favorite place in the world, in my house. My closet. I don't know why. I just love this closet. I could sit in here for hours and just go through stuff. My dress boot collection where love really meets my Nikes, my regular shoes all around. And those of you who know me know I have 5,000 pair of slippers because I cannot walk barefoot. It just irritates me. What else? Uh, here's something we have to show. This makes me keep it real. Real, real. I can't. And I keep them out where I can see them to know that this can never happen again and to take care of myself so I don't get sick again. And I do keep my collectible shirts. I know 2X, 3X will never happen, but I have to keep them. And there's my cowboy boots and my other boots. And these are my everyday pocketbooks. These are all my good pocketbooks. I use them, but not a lot. All right. We're going to do what's the cheapest thing in my closet, what's the most expensive thing in my closet, and what's my most favorite thing. Cheapest thing in my closet, I really have no idea. Oh! <laughs> cheapest thing in my closet is... Where are they? Pistola. Three fifty. Bargain hunters. That's the cheapest thing I think in my closet. The most expensive thing in my closet. Clothing wise. Clothing, okay, clothing wise. Or purse, bags or shoes. My main coat. Pull it up. Oh, everybody's seen this. Not everyone. I just got it back from being in storage. And my chinchilla pocketbook. I think those are the most expensive things. And my uh, my soft uh, shira. Now, the most what? Uh, What's what? Obviously, you have the most shirts in your closet, right? That's oh, what yeah, you have the most of. My shirt. Well, my pants are all doubled because if I buy a shirt, I have to buy a pair of pants. And now I can wear dresses. So I do have a lot of dresses. I wear a lot of dress clothes now. How cute. I wear a lot of dresses. These I love. Hey girls. Wish. Just size up. Look how cute. Love it. Great. Going out. Yeah, we do go out fancy. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I loved it when I saw it. Wish. Just size up. That's all. All right. And I'm going to show you. You think this is shoes? This isn't it. Those who know me know my severe addiction with shoes. A lot of people's addiction is pocketbooks. Come to my other rack. Let's go. Oh. And these are my loves. All right, so out of all these shoes, yeah, you have something like, I don't know, 25, 30 pairs or at least? Yeah, here. Okay, that's just here. Yeah. What's your favorite pair here? My favorite, favorite pair of shoes? Yep. Regardless if it's boots, sandals, whatever it is, what's your favorite? These. Okay. Love them. Love them. They're my wedgies. They're super comfortable, and I love them. Guess how much these were? Five dollars. <laughs> Bargain hunters. I can't get over it. Um, my other favorite pair would be these, but these were Broadway shoes. These are Michael's and these were $14 on the clearance rack. I'm, my feet are got much smaller, so I weathered. These are for my 80s party. How cute. 
And guess how much these were? How much? <laughs> these are $11 on Wish. Really? I have to tell you, Wish shoes are the cutest things. Look at these. $5 Wish. And I wear them. I don't care. How cute. $5 Wish. Ugh. So cute. Nine bucks. I love, I'm a Wish junkie. I can't help it. And they do take stuff back right away. And all my chancletas, my different colors. And that's it. These are just fab. These are expensive. $29.99 with my VIP. Oh, these, you know, we have here, we don't have Payless, we have Shoe Carnival. Look how cute, like buffaloes when we were young. Mm -hmm. I love them. Oh, these were Wish too. These are adorable with a nice pair of slacks. These were, I think these were like, I think they're $9. I don't know. But I, I, I hate to keep saying it, but my style has changed from jeans and sneakers to other things. And this is my other favorite place in the whole world, which is a mess, but take a look anyway. I got this vanity for my birthday from my kids. And now I'm a makeup junkie. I used to call it war paints. When I was younger, I used to wear a lot of makeup. Then when I got heavy and I didn't feel good about myself, I didn't wear makeup. Now, we're on a totally different ball game. Lots and lots and lots of makeup. And I really don't wear crap makeup, junk makeup. Oh my God. I'm an Ipsy and a Birchbox fiend. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ipsy and Birchbox. My new Ipsy bag is coming. What's it? Ipsy and Ipsy. Oh, that's Ipsy the monthly. Box. It's the monthly. It's, it's a monthly, the monthly, subscri monthly subscription. subscription. You get a little bag and you get five items in it. And it's like 10 bucks a month. I buy it for the year. And I've got in here. I've got really nice stuff. Was it worth it? Oh, I love it. Eyeliner. I got this beautiful coconut uh, blush. It's really nice. Good colors. Because you got to do the profile. Mm -hmm. My other favorite thing is um, my other favorite thing is my birch box. I get that too. Okay, well we'll do we'll do an unboxing for, for right. of that for next month. Okay. Um, when it comes next. What else? That's it. This is my my closet. Okay. And that was a quickie just to fill it in. And if you want to see something else. Oh, we're not done yet. What? You gotta show me dad's closet now. Oh my god. Remember, we had a suit explosion. Not everything is unpacked again. Because I unpacked once. I had to unpack it, pack it, and unpack it again. So not everything is unpacked. This is my love, my bathroom. <gasps> oh, love this. Alright. This is the master's closet. But also like the linen closet because I don't have a linen closet. <clears throat> All his shoes. He doesn't require much. He's got basically everything. But these are all his dress t-shirts. These hangers are from the cleaners because they sent everything to the cleaners. So I try to keep them. All his shirts, pants, shorts, jeans. These are clothes he wears, dress clothes. Still have two boxes, still not empty yet. And this is the kicker. His t-shirts. All his t-shirts, these are all army t-shirts. And I try to color coordinate them with what he's wearing. This is brown. He has no brown shirts. Explain why he has all army t-shirts. Well, my son just retired from the army. Bob is a Vietnam veteran. We have a few marine shirts, mostly army. And... We represent the NRA, and I know you people are going to hate that, but I can't help it. <laughs> it's Kentucky. We've got guns. We've got guns. And Kentucky is a very big NRA state. We're not going to get political. I'm not doing it. Hate me, love me. I don't care, but I can't do it. Um, and that's it. That's Bob's closet. But I think if I had this closet, I could do much better. Like what? I think. If my wonderful son could put up more racks, 
I could put all my shoes up. They wouldn't have to be half in the bathroom, half in my closet. And then, because now my clothes are getting scrunchy, I could really use this. And he could go into the walk-in. But then I can't leave my walk-in closet because I sit in there sometimes, listen to music, and I just try to organize because I'm very unorganized, as you can tell. Very unorganized. And this is Bob's closet. And here's my East Coast jacket still that doesn't fit me at all. And doesn't fit Bob. But we keep it. I love it. Oh, let me hang this up because it's dry. And I need to. Sorry, guys. This, uh. This house was half half fixed, half done, and the man who owned this house died. But, um, so we're fixing it. You know, the main things were first, and now we have to move to inside, now that the soot explosion is done. All right, why do I have so many bathing suits? Because... We have pools and hot tubs you have now. To bathe, you have to have a bathing suit appropriate for the pool here. It's so a public pool or for the community. It's a public pool, so it has to be really appropriate. Then you have a bathing suit for going out. <whistles> this, this. And I got lucky and got these pants to go with it because I really don't like to be naked. And then you have your house bathing suit. And my other bathing suit is that Felicia's because of the hot tub here. I have to have a house bathing suit. I have another bathing suit downstairs because we hot tub all year long. Winter. All the time. We've hot tubs at both houses. Yes, we hot tub at both houses. And we, we have a pool in my house. And you know me. My grandson said one day he didn't want to go to the pool. We didn't go to the pool. Two o'clock, turns around and tells me, go and go to the pool. Bob, too late to go to the pool. Grandma's got to start cooking. Mommy and Daddy going to be home from work soon. Daddy will come home from doing the lawn. Guess what? He's... Too hot. It's too hot. So. Well, it does get really hot here. It does get hot. And but I'm humid. saying it from a little boy's. Too hot, Grandma. It's just too hot. Well, I sent Grandpa and Daddy out. And we bought a pool. Because he wanted a pool. He's. I built my whole world around him. Because. We all do. He's my best friend, yes, and he's grandpa's sidekick, and he's daddy's buddy, and he's mommy's boy, but because they're out and about, I spend most of my time with him, and we hang out a lot together. Is he spoiled? Yes. The difference between him being spoiled and spoiled rotten is he is not fresh. I will backslap him. He will get spanked. But he, he's not a... Nasty little boy. He's such a good boy. He's grateful. And he's grateful. And he'll do anything with me. Bob, let's go food shopping. Oh, Grandma, can we make this? He loves it. He loves to go out and about. He loves to go to the stores. All right. Um, we're going to be back later. I'm going to find something else to show you in my weird old house. But just to let you know, this shout out of my closet is for a very good friend of mine, my buddy. I don't know why, but it's calling me to shout it out to him. Jerry Bernhardt, you've been where the magic happens. Because you're a, such a critic on everything I wear. I love it. So this shout out is for Jerry. Gotcha, Jerry. Um, and just to remind you people, be pleasant. Be friendly. It takes nothing to give a smile. It takes everything to give a frown and to be nasty. Just be nice to people in this world today, please. Just be nice. If you're nice, you'll flip those people into saying, oh my God, they were so nice. And they'll be nice. And always pay it forward. Whether it be a cup of coffee, a donut, a bottle of water, pay it forward. And respect your military, please. Care why we have this like this. Peace out, people. Love you.